Hey everyone, here is another one of my uh, quick videos. Here's a tip on how to speed up your computer. The, uh, this tip, uh, or the first tip actually, sorry, is uh, from my days of Windows XP when I needed to speed up my machine. Uh, this is really more for someone that has a slower computer, someone that has you know, a newer machine with lots of uh, RAM and a i5 processor, i7, doesn't really need this. Now I actually have an i5 processor, but I like to uh, disable a lot of stuff on my computer that I really don't need, just to try to get the best performance I can. Now real quick, uh, real quick, real cool, thing that you can do is before you do any of these tweaks just you know play your favorite game and put in the command you know whatever it is I think it, it depends on the game to sh uh, show your frames that you're getting then after making these tweaks see if there's any increase in your in your frames per second so again the first tip is one that is from back in the day Windows XP day and basically right click on my computer choose properties go to advanced settings if you're not already there, then go to the Advanced tab, go to Settings under Performance, and change it to Adjust for Best Performance. You can see real quick, it turns off a lot of the eye candy. Okay, uh, let's see, let's wait for this to finish. Uh, next thing I do is I go to Personalize, and I'm very bland. I like the Windows Classic. Um, theme okay so that turns that off another thing you can do is this is alone is probably going to give you a, a good uh, performance but of course again the eye candy uh, minimizing maximizing windows it's not going to give you the, the special effect that it typically does it's it's going to be very bland, bland. Um, next thing that you can do you can go to start and you can type msconfig and then go over to startup now if you don't know what you're doing don't mess with this um, but here is where you can see what starts up with your computer and determine okay do I need this to be running at the time that my computer runs there's a lot of programs that when you install especially programs that come with you know frequent updates they have an updater program that starts with it and it's constantly checking to see if there's an update um, then typically you end up having a lot of icons here in your system tray as you can see I have a minimal amount a lot of times people have stuff in there you know I've seen 20 30 icons in there so here's where you would go to turn it off uh, you know again be careful with what you turn off if you don't know what it is just leave it alone I for the most part typically just uh, you can see I have a Cronus here running and that's the application I use for backing up a computer and the Cronus True Image that's all part of it but I didn't need DivX Update or Go to Assist or Apple Push or any of this other stuff running so I removed the check from those uh, I also have an, a uh, headset that I use so I turned off the okay sorry I was in the middle of a Windows update oh that's so funny anyways so my screen turned off I don't know if that's gonna show up in the video or not but um, I lost my train of thought anyways here you can determine what you're gonna tur turn off or leave on um, you wanna definitely make sure that your antivirus is, is running once you do that hit apply then hit OK another thing you can do is you can go in here again and type oops sorry my mouse is very sensitive services dot msc oh sorry services dot msc and again this is another one if you don't know what you're doing you probably don't want to mess with it just do that simple tweak of turning off the eye candy and that's good enough for you but here's where you can go in and see okay I don't have a printer for example uh, connected to my computer so do I need the print uh, spooler service to start up I don't so I'm gonna go ahead and disable it of course you need to remember if I do end up getting the printer later on I need to enable that service uh, Bluetooth, uh, if you don't have a Bluetooth device, you turn it off in there. Um, Windows Defender is another one too. If you have an antivirus already install installed on your computer or use some uh, anti-spyware application like Malwarebytes, 
you don't need Windows Defender you can go ahead and turn it off here or you can just go to the program itself directly and turn it off okay um, another tip for the applications that show up here so that you don't need to necessarily go to MS config to turn them off you can actually go into the application itself and usually in the settings you'll find an option that says start up with Windows that you can just uncheck or yeah uncheck because it'll be checked that's why it's typically here in the corner um, one thing too and you're gonna see this disappear I have the search bar I really don't care for it so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and we're gonna go to the control panel then we're gonna go to programs and turn off Windows features uh, here you can see I have no check next to games I never play any of the the uh, solitary games or anything like that that's not really gonna help your performance but I like to keep my thing clean here so let's see uh, this is a search window search I'm gonna remove that and of course it's gonna say you know, are you sure you want to do that? Basically, when I go here later, there's not going to be a search option anymore. I don't care. But here's again where you would see, do I have a tablet? If I don't have a tablet, then why do I need tablet PC components enabled on this machine? So you, you would remove that. Restart. And I have my restart pending because of my uh, Windows update. Uh, other thing you can do here is under user accounts, you can go into user accounts again and then change user account control settings turn that off basically this is going to turn off ironically the message you're seeing right now anytime you do certain things on your computer you always get your screen it goes black and you see that message saying are you sure you want to do that if you don't want your computer second guessing it sec second guessing you just go ahead and turn that off say yes okay um, those are some basic tips on speeding up your machine. Uh, another thing you can do, uh, when I click on this uh, program, it doesn't open up, so I'm not going to open it up for you. But another thing you can do if you're afraid to do some of the tips that I showed you is you can just download this application called Game Booster. This one's Game Booster 3. And what this does is when you launch it, you can have it tell uh, your computer that whenever you launch a specific game to turn off all unnecessary stuff so it'll basically turn off all the eye candy and a lot of stuff that I showed you how to do manually it'll actually do it for you what's awesome about this it will turn all those things back on and leaves them just the way they were uh, after the game uh, closes so that's really cool another thing not necessarily to speed up your computer not, at least not directly use programs like CC Cleaner to analyze your machine see what's going on getting rid of some you know your temp files and crap uh, that's left uh, on there by programs but uh, anyways I think that's that's it if you guys have any questions just post them in the comments below thank you